What is up everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at how we can create our free website with free domain and free hosting. This is a really, really amazing tool if you want to get started. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I want to do is to go into the faithpatheon.io and here what I want to do is to click into the get started for free. You're gonna click into the link down below that I'm gonna leave you down below and here into the comment section, into the description. So I'm gonna hit into the email sign up truly for free and as you can see it's really easy to create an account so what i just need to do is to provide a name my company name my work email and choose a passcode the next time you want to enter here so here what i want to do of course is to choose the current room currently living this is really important if you want to optimize your search engine depending on the country that you're currently living so with that being said i'm going to hit into I agree to the page on terms of use and hit into sign up. Really, really easy process to do. So now what I want to do, guys, after I make the current registration, is to input once again the country. So I'm going to input here, in my case, it's Mexico. Are you an agency? In our case, of course, we're not. Hit into I agree to the paint TN terms of service and hit into continue. Now, as you can see, we're going to be redirected into the dashboard of Pantheon. So what we can do is to create or migrate an existing site. In our case, I'm going to do something easy as to choose create a new site. Here to create a site. And then what you want to do here is to choose the WordPress CMS site. This is going to be really easy just to get started in minutes. So I want to choose WordPress and then the dashboard is going to be changing a few features but now it's going to be really really easy to get started so here what i want to do is to import my pantheon site for example canva gigs and here is the pantheon development site that was created generated for me as a free domain so if you want to pay to get the dot com for example or dot something else i'm afraid that you lift you have to actually um pay for that but um speaking about free hosting this might be really really easy to use so i think i'm going to stick around with this one i'm going to hit into continue and just like that my actual url of pantheon has been successfully created so i'm just going to wait a couple of seconds here and here's the deploying of the wordpress so what's happening here is now that we are being redirected into the actual section of wordpress so the process once again is really really easy and if you want to get yourself on a specific um let's say custom url i can totally suggest you to go into the namechip.com so in here what you can do is to choose the domain that you want to buy hit into search and here into search is going to be appearing a lot of options. There are actually really, really low prices. Sometimes there are like just one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Really, really easy. So here, as you can see, I have results of the maybe Canva gigs that online. This is just one dollar per year. I think it's really, really low price. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. So that the option is totally um, for you guys. So I'm going to hit into visit your Pantheon site dashboard. There we go. So now that we have here our URL our custom URL, here's the development mode of the S uh, FTP. So there's no changes connected. So what I want to do is to, here's the host, here's the username, here's the passcode, and here's the port. So as you can see, we do have a free code, free hosting here, and the commitment has been added successfully. So now what we need to do is to actually create our very first action. So here we want to do is to hit into the visit development site. And it's going to be popping up the section of the WordPress. So as you can see, we want to choose English. I'm going to hit into continue. And once again, I'm going to type the site title. And I'm going to hit my username. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. And here I have the passcode. Now in my case, I want to look for something different like this and you want to type of course your email in my case i'm going to be using a temporary email which is going to be just really really easy to do that and you want to go into the install the wordpress as a for example just as a plugin so you can get into the x mark and here as you can see the wordpress has been installed so what you want to do is you just sign in with the username and the passcode that you choose so 
just sign in with that passcode and then we are now inside. So what I want to do now is to actually create our very first step. So if you want to get started here, what you want to do is to go into the plugin section. And here what you want to do is to install the very first plugin that you want to add and to create your own editor. So for example, I can use Elementor like that here into the enter mark. And there we go, we have the Elementor website builder. So this one is compatible with our version of WordPress. So what you want to do is to get into install now. And we need to grant the access to install the plugin. And after that, you just need to hit into the activate. So as you can see, you can create your account really, really easy. So now what I want to do is to go back here and I can get started here, even into the dashboard of the actual uh, of the actual WordPress. So if I hit into my quick draft, I can have the overview here. I have some WordPress elements and stuff. So I can go into the media or the pages option and I can add whatever I want to do. Or even I can go into the template and I can choose wherever template I want to do. So I can go into the add new like this, create a template. I want to choose a landing page and let's say welcome landing page and I can create my template just like that is going to be added automatically. And here we do have the different options that we can use in order to create our landing page. For example, let's say that I want to add an image and I want to just drag and drop like this. And here's my image already been added. So lastly, what I want to do is to, of course, choose an image. I can choose to upload an image or to choose to insert media insert that from a URL. For example, I can go into the Google section and here into the Google, let's say, for example, that I want to look for in a specific uh, stuff, let's say, for example, traveling photos. And I'm going to go into the images. Uh, I'm going to head down and look for one that I kind of like. For example, I kind of like this one. I'm going to copy the image address and I'm going to paste that into my Elementor URL page section and I'm going to insert the media. There we go. So with that being said, now I'm going to go back here into my blocks here. I can go into the drag and add. And I want to choose a button. So I'm going to just drag and drop like this. And this one, let's say I want to look for travel now. On the type, I'm going to leave that into the center part. And the in, in the icon spacing, I'm going to just leave it like this. And the style here, you can change whatever style you want to do. I can choose another color if I wanted to. See, for example, this one. And there we go. So this is how, guys, we can create our very first website, free hosting and free uh, server here. It's really, really easy to use that. So with that being said, we've reached into the very end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you don't want to see more amazing tools about the WordPress and more Patheon site.io. So I'm going to get into have a look. And as you can see here, it's my website and it's working right away. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.